Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I just made this edge light or showed how to make this edge light this morning. But only thing I didn't like in an edge light, this might be too too many lines on this edge just by the way I created it. Now this thing is 15 inches. We're going to take a 12 inch ellipse and we're going to hit P and it is selected. So now we can open up lens effects, which is underneath effects in lens, and we're going to turn it into a fisheye. Now, this particular one, then go to frozen, and you have a totally different look. Now, for some reason, maybe somebody will chime in here, uh, they look like the lines are more flat than they are with the original. So, if, you know what? We could try one more thing. I didn't even thought about that. I'm just trying to get rid of the... This is grouped together, so this should work. Let's hold down. Let's make it 12. I don't know if this will work, but we're going to try it. Put that in the center of the page. Select them all and go to intersect. Wow. Now, if you're going to do this, use your nudge distance to move it out of the way and then take your ring and move it out of the way too. That's pretty cool. That's the way to do it. So forget about the lens effect. Uh, I'm gonna leave this video just give you people an idea. But just don't forget to turn them into a something other than a hairline so the laser will engrave it. That's a pretty cool effect. Now, just as a side note, this is uh, all grouped together, so when I hit P, it puts it in the middle. Watch what happens if you if they're not if it's not grouped together. It's forty two objects, and this would be a good effect to engrave too. I'm going to hit P. It put all the lines in the center because they were individual. That that would be a pretty cool edge light. And even then, let's now group them together. Control G. Let's take another. They are in the center. Take another ellipse and hit P. And then select them both and intersect them. You get a totally different look than that versus this. I move that out of the way inadvertently. I'm going to get our circle. Let's look at the difference between the two. Of course, one of them is going to be black. That's pretty cool, with the exception that I've got some of the outer longer lines. So you could have made my circle, I could have made my circle smaller. Let's just try that. And then intersect that. Move, take the circle. And the good thing about this, once you get this done, you can make it any size you want. You know, you don't have to be limited by six inches. You could make it, you know, 12. That's a pretty cool effect. I like this one more. Um, but even this one wouldn't be a bad edge light. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.